Hi Aquarius, welcome to your weekly tarot reading with me. My name is Brooke and welcome to Luna Fey Tarot. This reading is for all those born under the sign of Sagittarius for the week of September 26th to October 3rd. Thank you to my new subscribers as well as my existing subscribers. I really appreciate you. And also check me out on Facebook at the link below. You can also find me on Instagram. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can email me at lunafaytarot at gmail.com. And that email address is in the description box below as well. Aquarius, I'm going to do a three-card reading for this weekly, weekly reading again. And I'm also going to be coming out later in the week with your October monthly tarot forecast as well. So let's begin with the card on the bottom of the deck. We see the Five of Rods for Aquarius this week. This is a kind of energy where there may be a battle or competition with other people. There could be a battle of words this week as well. Verbal arguments. The message is try not to let your temper or any kind of outbursts uh, come spilling out before you have all the facts. Try not to engage in disagreements this week. There may be something going on with more than one person this week for Aquarius, and it has the energy of a struggle. But the positive of this card is there's going to be a good outcome. So watch out for any kind of verbal exchanges that are kind of rife with contention, and also watch out for verbal disagreements. But with the Five of Rods, essentially, this could be a battle card. This also could be a card of competition with other people. So this is the energy for Aquarius, the card on the bottom of the deck, the Five of Rods, which is essentially the Five of Wands in the traditional tarot deck. So let's begin and lay out your three cards, Aquarius, for this week's reading. The first card is, that has appeared, and someone else got this card in the same position. Oh, who was it? Oh my goodness, I can't remember. Maybe it'll come to me. The Nine of Swords is essentially the Nightmare card. This is a card of worry, anxiety, depression. This is also a card of sleepless nights, Aquarius. Many of you are dealing with something when it comes to other people or a situation involving. I get the feeling for more than one person. This could be family disagreements. On the home front, this could be relationships, friendships, workplace, drama, some sort of bone of contention for many of those that are watching. The Nine of Swords is a card indicating and validating to Aquarius. You have been up at night, you're worried, you're filled with anxiety, you're dealing with something that perhaps is all-consuming. Many of you may be having panic attacks associated with this. Many of you may be going through a mild depression of some kind, revolving around this situation. And it's something that is pretty much overtaking Aquarius mentally in this week. And it's something that perhaps has been going on for some time for Aquarius. And there could be some sort of illness that you're battling. There also could be for many of you some kind of worry as well, especially when it comes to your health. There's something surrounding Aquarius revolving around mental anxiety, depression, sleepless nights, and being worried about something for Aquarius. Now in the middle we see the Knight of Rods. There is movement with this. This is something that is going to basically be ushered out. I really think in the month of October, so there's progress with this card of taking you out of this period, Aquarius. This also could be a card of travel for many. This is a new direction. This also could be a card of relocation for many as well. Oh, that's right, Virgo. Virgo got this card in the same position. So if you have Virgo rising or Virgo moon, or know someone that has Virgo sun, please go back and watch this video watch that video because I think they got the Knight of Rods in their reading as well. The Knight of Rods is symbolizing movement, a new direction. Something's going to definitely take a new turn of events for Aquarius and ushering you out of this period of these feelings 
of anxiety, worry, stress, pain. So something's definitely on the move for Aquarius. Now ending your reading, we have judgment. When you see a major arcana card in the outcome position, it's very much trumping the reading as well as events, especially in the next month. Judgment is a phase is ending. Aquarius, you're going through something. You're going to be coming out of it. A phase is ending. So whatever you're going through, whatever you're going through spiritually, whatever you're going through emotionally, whatever you're going through when it comes to other people, workplace, family, this also could be in relationships, you're basically, it's coming to an end. So let it phase out which is very positive for you. Let it phase out because especially for ones that are involved in legal matters, you're going to be getting your just reward about something and you're going to be judged fairly on it. Let it phase itself out. There also could be for many, this situation is going to usher you into a new period where there could be positive outcomes. For example, promotions in the workplace, a new position, there could be uh, getting your just due reward, some kind of karmic uh, retribution for, huh, finally, you know, they got put in their place kind of stuff. So for Aquarius, especially in the month of October, especially going into the last week of this month for September, something is phasing itself out. Something is definitely coming to a culmination for Aquarius. And I really see for many, that on the horizon, a new day, a new dawn is on its way for you, Aquarius, which is going to usher you into a new outlook of things in your lives. So good luck to you, Aquarius. Keep me posted. Have a fabulous week, and I'll be out later this week with your monthly October forecast. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.